Hello my lovely warmer thoughts, welcome back to my channel. It's Morbid Gamer here with another video. Today we are doing the official and very late review to The Sims 4 Paranormal Stuff Pack. Brought to you by a non-game changer, not associated. <laughs> I paid with this with my own hard cash. 10 US dollars is how much this pack costs. This is officially the 18th stuff pack released by EA. I'm gonna go ahead and split up this review into three different parts. There's cast, build by, and then there's actual gameplay because let's be honest, some of us just buy these packs for different things. So let's go ahead and get started. First things first, let's look at creative sim. Your girl is a bit of a fashionista, not gonna lie. Look how sick these pants are, just saying. So Creatism tends to be one of my favorites. Looking through all the Creatism items in this stuff pack, not gonna lie, I'm kind of neutral. I do like some items in here, especially the off the shoulder, like bustier with the sleeve, the poofy sleeves. I thought that was really, really cute. And can we just talk about the button up dress that was actually styled to only have the first three buttons and then everything else just flared out with these cute high-waisted jean shorts. It's like everything I could ask for. Styling in The Sims 4, oh my god. There was a really, really nice dress also in there. It had like a cute little makeshift belt it almost seemed like, and it was there to like kind of cinch it in the waist. I think it was such a cute little accent piece. However, it did kind of remind me of like another dress that we had and came with eco lifestyle, but nonetheless, I still really enjoyed it and I still really liked it. The shorts with like the ruffles at the bottom and like the cute little designs on it and patterns. I really enjoyed those. And the pants with the really awesome belt on it also with like the fringy belt coming down. Those were like everything. Now I want a pair, especially of the red ones. I think they're like a rustic red. Oh, those I need in real life. The skirt was okay. It was meh. I wasn't blown away by it, but it was all right. I hate the shoes though. The shoes gotta go. The open and then the toes peeking through. I'm not a fan of it. I don't know. That's just me. I can do without. The marriages have been like must needed. We kind of got like a variation of it in Boschino, but these are like proper and I enjoy that and I appreciate we, we actually have some Mary Janes. The accessories are always meh for me, so no shock there. The hairs were all right. Again, they weren't like my cup of tea, but I can't complain too much. For men, it's always when it falls short and falls flat for me. I did do my own research on New Orleans street style. I'm kind of wishing and hoped we get some more of these kinds of items, especially when it comes to men. I don't know why they always get left out of the fashion game. It's like, what the heck? I did like the loose shirt though. It gave me some piratey vibes, but I did enjoy it. The weird 70s like print with the jacket over it and like it's like revealing the chest, the chesticle area. I didn't appreciate that one. I didn't enjoy it. That one I can do without. The vest, I mean, what is this 2010? <laughs> I don't completely hate it in some other color variations, but it's there and it is what it is. And then we had a repeat of the bottom variation for females, which I don't mind. And then we had these striped pants, which I was actually excited for. I was like, look at these cool fashionable pants. I will definitely be using these. And then an outfit that is locked and shoes that are locked also. So again, my poor dudes. For children, I think you get like a new outfit. Toddlers basically get nothing. So overall, I would just rank creative sim as like kind of like a meh. If if you need something new and you really, really want some of those like particular items that are really, really cute, I guess maybe on sale, I would say go for it. So yeah, create a sim, four out of 10. But there you go, that's create a sim. Let's move on to build by. Lately, when it comes to build by in The Sims 4, I think they've been knocking it out of the ballpark. I think it's been really, really good. So if you're looking for packs for building, which let's be honest, most of you are, I feel like The Sims has become a building simulator instead of a life simulator but okay, y'all do you. I just want to tell you guys that for $10, this stuff pack and all the build by things that you get are totally worth it. I'm just like, I'm blown away. I feel like the majority of these items kind of just work together cohesively very well, but also like if they weren't together and you were to pair these with different things that you have in game, I think it also works. It's just kind of like you can mismatch and that's something you love to see. You know, you want some bang for your buck. I won't linger too long 
long, but like some of like the standout items for me are definitely like that cute end table that you use, a circular one, oh, so good. The rug, the fireplace, the new, the palm tree, so nice. The couches, the dresser, I feel like I can go on and on, honestly, but you will not be disappointed with the build buy in here, especially if you like to decorate your homes, build, definitely think it's worth the $10. If that's what you're buying it for, I say grab it now. If you are looking for the stuff pack for spooky items, I would say look somewhere else because that's not what you're gonna get here. I appreciate that. Some of you might not. They definitely went for this like New Orleans kind of vibe and I'm not hating it. It works for me. I gave a seven out of half out of 10. Yes, I said half. I gotta keep you on your toes. First things first, let me just preface that playing with this stuff pack was actually not easy at all because things were just not working right for me. We'll get into that in a bit. Now there is a new latre. This is the haunted house residential, which what it's supposed to do is basically create a haunted house for you to live in by having like flickering lights and like specters, creepy things happen, you'll hear stuff. Again, for the life of me, I couldn't get this to work. So if it works for you, that's great. But it kind of already started me off on the wrong foot for this pack. I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but I kind of just thought, okay, haunted house, residential, lot trait, boom, that's all I got to do and it'll work. And I tried everything. I was like, I'm not playing with mods, one, because people were always like, mods, are you playing with mods? And I'm like, I repaired my game also. That didn't work. I did get to play with the, the specters a little bit. They're very cute. I don't know why they're so scared of them. I think they're the cutest things ever, which I guess is kind of funny. Like, look at this cute little angry fire breathing things. They're so adorable. Be scared. So I guess it works. Also, if you click on the hand, which isn't working for me either, she calls herself a simmer. <laughs> But if you have the helping hand, you can actually disable Gidry's visits with that. But you can also enable heroic mode, which I guess just makes the hauntings a lot like worse and scarier and crazier. At least that's what I've heard from people. I wouldn't know. And trust me, my sims have been living in that house for a while and nothing crazy has ever happened. Nothing. It's just regular gameplay. So moving on though, let's talk about the medium skill. Because that was the first thing that I actually got gravitated towards when playing this game. I was like, okay, let's check out the new skill. Let's see what's up with the seance table because I thought it was pretty sickening, pretty sick looking. And I was like, all right, let's level up. I actually thought this went to level 10. It does not. It only goes up to level five. At every level, obviously you unlock new things, but I'll together some of the few things that you can do with the medium skill is like communing with the departed sensing spiritual vitality performing ceremony at the seance table you can then host group seances which not gonna lie i thought they were kind of funny because if you look at the other sims you just have a bunch of like skeptic like sims all together just doing this weird seance animation and they like open their eyes from time to time and they're like I don't buy any of this, but I'm just gonna go along with it. I thought that was really funny. You can then summon Bone Hilda later on down the line. You can form a ghastly ritual, which I didn't know what that meant at all. But once I saw it, I clicked it and I got scared and freaked out because I thought I killed my Sims and turned them into a ghost. That's not the case. They just turn into a ghost temporarily. So it'll take off. But I didn't know that going in. I was like, what the heck? Then once you max it out, you can create seance circles anywhere, which is really helpful once we go down to the freelance career. And then you are eligible of receiving a paranormal investigator license from Gidry. Now, again, this never happened for me because just things are not working right. Never did Gidry visit. Once I maxed out my skill, I looked and scoured the internet for any clues on how to get Gidry to pop out. I was living on a lot for a very long time. I felt like my sims were aging before my eyes, but nothing was working. And then I was about to give up when I came across a cheat to just enable you to have the license. And I was like, give me it. I'm just going to do this. I don't care anymore. <laughs> Later on in The Sims though, I realized that it is a reward trait, which nobody told me, but you can actually get one with points in the reward store. Like I did not see this anywhere online. Damn it, <laughs> it would have saved me so much time. Before we get into the freelance career and talk more about that, we should talk about the elephant in the room, which is Bone Hilda. And I was actually really, really excited only for her, if I'm being honest. So when I found out that she didn't come in her cute, iconic coffin, I was a little distraught. I was a little sad, a little mad. If you're gonna do something that's like a callback to past Sims games, I feel like you just kind of got to go for it 100%, just go all 
all in or just not at all. Actually, in this case, not at all. I still would take Bone Hilda either way. I'm glad she's still in the game, period. But it is kind of annoying when you have to go and sit down, perform a whole like thing just to call a Bone Hilda when I would have preferred her to be some kind of reward instead of the reward you get in Create a Sim with the outfit. Like, I think Bone Hilda would have been a lot cooler. And just saying, knocking on the coffin is a lot quicker than the seance table. However, I think if you have like a mess in the house or something, you there's like a quick summon Bone Hilda option that I didn't even realize till later on. I do have kind of a bone to pick, and it's why is Bone Hilda so goofy and flirty and why is she dancing all the time? Like, Bone Hilda out the gate is already pretty quirky. She's a skeleton maid that comes out of the coffin to clean your house when you come a knock in. That already in itself is so subtly quirky, it just works. But then you always gotta step it up another level in The Sims 4. And it's like she comes out flirty, dancing. I mean, the firefighters do that too. Sometimes I just miss the subtle days of the first Sim, Sims 2, Sims 3. I don't like the try hard quirkiness of The Sims 4. If you get it, you get it. And if you don't, it's fine. Anyways, you can woohoo with Bone Hilda. So for those of you who keep asking, you can. You can actually try it for a baby with her too. She will have a baby, which I found really weird that her boobs grow really huge, you know? like your sims normally do when they're pregnant, but she doesn't have like that belly. So mm, that was awkward. And that's when I realized she's actually just a sim, a regular sim with like overlay on top, I guess, a skin. So I'm not mad at it. It is what it is, fine. I'm kind of over it. I'm just glad she's in the sims 4. And the queen has finally arrived. Once my sims got their license, they were then able to become a paranormal investigator, which is part of the new freelance career. When looking for gigs, you actually get three different levels. There's easy, medium, hard and they all pay different but they're always at the same time if you were expecting something completely different and to blow it out of the water for you with this new job i don't know what you're thinking but this is kind of like the same old same old if you have get to work this should be very familiar you kind of get called up go to work and there's an overall task with the time and you get little interactions to do by the second gig i was kind of over it being honest here but it, it's repetitive it's what can I tell you? I will say that the hard gig is actually really difficult, but most of that was probably due to the fact that again, I saw that nothing was spawning for me. I was watching a lot of people play with the career and they would always get like the creepy doll or like goop or like other things appear in their game constantly. So they would have things to go around the house and do. For me, it was just wasn't the case. Like rarely would things pop out. And so most of the times it was just my sim and stay on circle, you know, performing a ceremony and losing her energy because I Every time you do that, you do lose out on energy. So by the end of the gig, she was dead tired. So again, it might just be me, but overall, even if it does work, it's just gonna be a repetitive thing over and over again. So don't get your hopes up. Now let's talk about the new scared moodlet. There is a new moodlet, which not gonna lie, I've always wondered why there was never a scared moodlet. We finally get one though, so that's good, but it doesn't come with this stuff pack. This came in a free stuff pack, so I won't go into it too much, but the scared moodlet, I think it's pretty funny. I wish there would have been here all along, but it's just funny seeing a Sims just scramble and like run around. And it does make it harder when you're trying to do your job. So I forgot to mention Gidri, but Gidri is also a big part of this. He helps you again getting your license. He can help you out in when you're going for gigs. He kind of helps to calm you down. He's kind of a guide also, and he's pretty cute. A lot of people are comparing him to Johnny Depp, and I can kind of see that. And we already talked about one of the rewards for this new stuff pack, but there is a new brave reward tray which will help you out when it comes to gigs also so you don't get scared as often. You can purchase candles which will also keep you a little more level-headed not freak out as much so that's cool. That's pretty much it when it comes to the gameplay aspect of this stuff pack. Gameplay I'm gonna end up giving a four and a half out of ten. <laughs> we keep things spicy around here but I honestly think I would have ended up liking the haunted house lot tray if it actually worked for me. It didn't but I could see myself liking it and two I really enjoy seeing Bone Hilda again. I would have much rather prefer to see a cemetery lot tree. Even a haunted cemetery lot tree I think would work because you could also bury your sims which is something that we don't have currently. There is no place to lay your dead ones, your dead sims. And I definitely miss that a lot. So overall do I think this stuff hack is worth it? I would say meh. If you're a builder go for it. 
If you're into creative sim and you want new things, I say skip this one or get it when it's half off. And if you're into gameplay, it's totally up to you. If you want to see Bone Hilda and you think you'd enjoy the Haunted House Latre. For freelance, it's kind of like the same old, same old, very repetitive. And if you're maybe hoping for something a little new to spice up your life, then I would say this is for you. And or maybe it's not for you. Depends on what you're into and what it is that you're looking for. So that's it for my review, guys. Let me know what you think. Are you going to get this? Are you not? Have you already purchased it? I would love to hear it down below in those comments. That's it for this review video. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Like this video so you can help your girl out. And click on that bell so you know when I post my next videos. I'll see you on my next one. Bye, guys.